Hello everyone from Bulgaria. My name is Stanislav Bagalev. I am a master of Wing Chun and I'm doing martial arts more than 35 years. This is Veni. She is a magister of physiotherapy. physiotherapy and she will help me with most of the movements. She is a specialist not only about physiotherapy but she is a very good fighter. She is training boxing, self-defense and of course some weapon system, even shooting, climbing and swimming and lots of things. That's why I brought her with me and we will try to show you some basic ideas about the woman self-defense. Very shortly, we are part of European Wing Chun organization. This is the largest Wing Chun organization in the world. Only in Europe we have more than 1,500 schools with more than 60,000 members and we are teaching self-defense for kids, for teenagers, especially for women self-defense. We have a prevention of the violence for the school, we are working with police, with special forces too and of course we have a normal women and men uh, training every day in all over the world. The basic idea is to think what is the difference between the sport, about the martial art and about the self-defense. You know, the martial arts were specially made to, uh, let's say, kill the other people in the Middle Ages. Later on, the martial arts became part of the sports competition. And what happens? Most of the dangerous techniques were cancelled, delayed from there. And of course, why? What is the idea of the sport? Two people, let's say in the same kilograms, and they are of course only men, so only women, they are doing something together in a specific situation and rules, and they know when will be the competition, they have time to prepare, there is a judge that can stop the competition, of course there is a doctor around and if something happens they can help them and of course most of the techniques are not so dangerous and of course they are not lethal. But what is about, let's say, about the martial arts? Some of the martial arts are just run mainly about the art, they are just working only about the healing the body, they are working about breathing, they are working on a way that they can cure the body and they can make us stronger and of course a little bit to talk about the self-defense. And now about the self-defense, this is a completely other subject. Why? First of all, you never know what and when will happen. Second of all, most of the situation are not in an equal size or not in an equal kilograms. Let's say you can be very thin and somebody who can attack you could be 30, 40, even 50 kilos up than your weight. And they could be not only one, they could be two or even three. Some of them could have a knife or somebody can have a chair. Or let's say if you're a woman and somebody is pulling in, some want to do something with you and how you can deal with it. You cannot say, oh, you need, I, I, I need a judge or I need, uh, you have more kilos than me or you are just uh, too many people attacking me, let's fight only one by one. No, the situation in the street is very, very dangerous. That's why when we are talking about self-defense, we need to prepare ourselves, our mind and our techniques in a different way. Sometimes we don't need so much stamina, we don't need to uh, be, to, to have, a, let's say, two rounds in five minutes each run. You, sometimes you need to have five seconds, maximum ten seconds and to have a right reaction in the right distance. That's why this will be our topic. I will try to prepare you with some ideas and of course with some practical 
ideas and some practical issues, how to train, how to react, and what exactly we can do, and probably what it's better to don't. We will do some basic ideas. We will start with the right position of the body. We will use her like example. Let's say first we start with the head. You must push a little bit up in the center and it means that you can find the earth and a sky. Now find the sky and push a little bit. But from where are we pushing? From the earth. From our feet. That's why this is the first connection. Up and directly down. What we can do? You can try to lift up your weight directly up. Most of the people they can do like this or they're going forward and they're going back. But if you feel the straight, straight force up, then you will find this line that it's inside of your body. Try up, push, yes, and go push more with yes, great. Again, you see, if you push your stomach too much forward, you see you don't have a balance. Or if you push back, again, you don't have a balance. Let, let's show if you are a little bit like this, push up, you cannot go. Or push wrong like this, you see it's not working. That's why the middle point between our top and our down is, you see, the pelvis. The pelvis must be exactly in the middle. And when you push up, push, 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 push now, yeah, you see, here is, there is a stability. This is very important. The stability is one of the basic and main concepts. If you are not stable, you cannot punch, you cannot pull, you cannot kick. And of course, the other one can use this situation. That's why the stability is one of our first priority. Now, we can put one leg forward. What is the idea? My front part of the leg is not exactly pointing on front, it's a little bit inside. Why? This is giving me chance, if something happens, I can cover with my knee. You see, if something happens, you can cover inside. You see, if I'm here, you can cover yourself. If it's, this is too open, open, wrong, and you see I can go in or I can crash or, you know, that's why the position is a little bit, you see, on the size of your shoulder, the front leg is a little bit forward and this is giving a chance to cover. And again, push up, here is in the middle, and now we are distributing the weight. The weight is forward and back, but we are trying now to keep in the middle. And that's why when I find when I, when I want when I can find the middle, I can distribute my weight forward and back, but the most important part is to find the middle. Up and down, forward and back. And of course, we have left and right. This left and right is giving us a chance to move. From where? You can try to move from the pelvis, left, and here, right. You see, this is the point of moving. Sometimes people are blocking their pelvis and they are moving from the upper body and this twisting, it's not good first for, for your health, for your lower part of the back. And second of all, you don't have power. That's why move left and right try one and two and one and two very good and one and two and one and two very good and now we can do a little bit back down and up down and up down and up down and up very good and now left and right again and you see you can go left or you can go even down or you can go right up you see now your body starting to have a chance to move. Now, let's say about the distribution of the weight. First of all, we can go back. It's like 80%, 20%. We're starting 50% and 50%. Now it's 80%, 20%.
you see we are pulling up a little bit the foot and the heel is far from the ground. This is give us a chance, you see when I move left and right, again left and right, left and right, this is much more easy for us to move. And then I will show you, we'll use this for pushing or for striking or for pulling and this is very important. You see I have two things, I have stability and in the same time I have mobility. Some of the people have a very good mobility but they don't have a stability. Some of the people have a very good stability but they don't move. That's why this is the Chinese way about yin and yang. I have mobility and stability. Now again 50%, 50%, this is the middle. Now we're going a little bit forward and it's like 70%, 30% and you see again our heel is more high and now I'm turning you see and I'm turning my whole lower part and this is giving me chance you see to move and my first leg you see the front leg is stable again in the middle going back now my back leg is stable front leg is moving very good this is some basic ideas about stability to how to stretch our body and to move left and right with the front and back leg. Let's do some exercise about our hands. We will do like this again. You are pushing forward up to here. You see, this is very important. Don't push with the shoulders too much front because some, most of the people when they push, they're pushing over their limits. The other things to have a stability is to know our limits of the body. Here is the limits of the body. Yes, you see, this is very important. Our shoulder is connected to our back and this is give us a very strong position. If this is wrong a little bit forward, you see this is already or they can pull you. That's why put the shoulder in the right position and you see you have this stability. This is very important. The same with the fist. How I'm making the fist? You can do like this. I'm doing the four fingers inside and then my thumb is going on the first two fingers. It's like locking the fist. And do like this again. You see this is the maximum of your fist and now your arm is directly connected with your shoulder. Your shoulder is directly connected to your body. The body through the pelvis is directly connected to your legs and the legs are directly connected to the ground. And you see this is a chain. That's why the chain is make us stronger because when we are united then we are strong. That's why you see this is very good position and we can do. Again, let's do. I'm going forward and this is the middle and this is close. And it is the idea that we have a three distances. I have a close distance in our arms, middle distance and far. You see this is like a shield. This is our shield that over that shield it's not good to go out. This is our middle shield and this is our close shield. And with the fist is the same. This is my long distance, this is my middle distance and of course this is my close distance. What we can do? Look, I am starting always in the middle. Put one of the legs, yes exactly, in front, my weight is in the middle and my arms are in the middle. And I can push with the left, then I can go back in the middle, then I push with the right and I go to the middle. And again, one and middle, two and in the middle, one here in the middle, two, yes. This is giving you a chance, try, you see, when you move a little bit the body, you see the arms are following the movements of the hip 
and arms are taking the power from the rotation of the body. This is wrong. You see, I'm just pushing with my arms and you see my arms are the just weakest part of my body. The other part of the body has a much more muscles and when I turn the body, then my push or my punch have really a lot of power. And let's do now with the fists. Again, I'm in the middle and I'm punching, then I'm going in the middle, then I'm punching, then I'm going in the middle. And again, forward in the middle, yes, forward in the middle. And let's turn the body a little bit. One in the middle, two in the middle, one in the middle, two in the middle. And now look, you can now put your arms near to your body. This is your third distance, this is your close distance. Your, you see, elbows, it's not good to be too much forward, a little bit closer. They are covering, you see, your lower part of your stomach. And now I can go forward. This is in our back position. Then again, turn and punch. And you see, my back part of the arm is on this position. And again, one and two. You can now use even the foot with the first leg. One front leg, you see, then turn, very good. And one more again, and two, and one more again, and two, very good. And now we will do this with palms, the same combination. I could be in front, in the middle, and close to the body. And that's why now I'm doing this, covering, then two, again, one and two, very good, and one and two, again, one and two, I'm turning my body just to see the both sides, very good, again, one, you see my head is pushing a little bit up and looking forward. Then punching, my head is pushing up and the other arm is pushing forward. And now we will talk about the distances. The distance is a very, very important part. Why? Everywhere in our world is to knowing the right distance. Even in our society, when you don't know someone, you're just waving to someone. You see? i just waving. When you know someone, I'm just going a little bit and I say hello, but you see, still I have a peak distance. Even, let's say, in Asia, people are not touching each other, that's why they're going like this and you see they have this bow, because in any case, you have this distance and this is even like from the past, if someone has a knife or a sword, you have enough dist distance to react. Now we are much more open, you see, we are most of the time doing this. And this is the middle distance. Very, very seldom when you know someone and when you are close to someone, that's why you are going a little bit here and say hello to someone. And you see, this is our three distances. If you don't know someone, don't wait he to be in the distance that he can touch you. This is already the second distance. That's why I will show you how to keep the longer distance and if something happens, you have a chance, first of all, to react or run. Why I'm telling you about run? Most of the martial arts, or they say, hey, no, stay, fight. No. In the self-defense situation, to run out of the problem is saving your life. Of course, if you don't have a chance, you must react. But then when you react, then of course, you must keep the longer distance or even to run. Why? Because you will not win a medal if you stay. You will not to be in 
world champion if you stay because if the other one has a knife or has a chair and crushing on you and if you stay there this is not good and of course this situation happens sometimes not only because we want to stay but our fear our fear fear is doing very strange things when when we have fear sometimes we are just freezing and from the fear we cannot move and our brain is just working but our muscles are just shaking and we cannot move that's why this is sometimes a very big problem that's why i want you first to teach you how to move not how to punch or not, not how to kick but to keep the right distance and let's do like this she has a position and if i go to her she's going back keeping the position she's going back keeping the position she's going back you see i'm far from her again what is wrong when she's like this and she stay there and if i go you see i have chance to do something and then she must cover and do some other techniques but if you don't know something better keep the distance in the correct way let's do again one back two three i'm checking to see can i touch you again go back again let's do if i go you go back boom again go back with the two finger with the two steps yes bravo bravo you see now we have some basic ideas how to put our body in the right position how to put our arm in the wrong position and to manage the correct distance now let's do how to react with the distance what is our longest weapon our longest weapon is our back leg that's why i will show you some ideas how to kick and how to use your leg for attack and of course for defense we will do like this first i am going shifting my weight back a little bit and i'm kicking and going again again one two one is shifting i have a balance then kicking again shifting and kicking and one more shifting and kicking and let's do with the back leg how when i'm turning the body you see i'm turning the front leg on a 45 degrees this is opening you see this corridor for kicking and again i'm opening one and then i'm kicking and then i'm closing again this corridor let's do it together moving kicking back again moving kicking back and look the arms i'm changing the situation and the position of the arm i'm not like this you see my arms are not staying in the same position they're changing left and right and right with left now i'm doing this changing kick and changing you see this rotation we start with this rotation and this rotation is give us a chance to move and to have a power let's do some exercises with the shield now she is in a position and she's kicking with the front leg again very good again very good kick in the center yes look this is a good idea to find the center if she's kicking a little bit here i can move or the other side but when she kick exactly in the middle it's like she's kicking me on the way where is my spine that's why again kick me bravo and one more super you see she's kicking very hard and very good and now let's do with the back leg you need a little bit even more distance why because you see this is the longest weapon that we have try move and kick bravo super go super bravo one more very good and now you can see that you can train this at home you can train this with your friend you can train 
this with your boyfriend. You can train this with someone who just have a chance to hold something and then you can teach yourself where is the position, how you can kick, how you can move and this is very important. Where I can use this on a, some situation? Let's say, come a little bit here closer, yeah, I'm going here one more and you see she can kick with the front leg here or even she can kick, yes, again, front leg one and then the back leg kick very good one more go back and you see you have a distance to kicking and then you can kick with the back leg or even you can kick the front leg one yeah yeah with the front yes and now kick with the back boom again let's do again the same boom and then again kick boom very good you see this is stopping the opponent of walking and if you kick someone stay let's say in the muscle here or on the knee or in the stomach or even in the groins that the situation is over the back leg is the same you see i'm kicking and then i can have more power let's say that if you don't have a lot of power with the front kick then the back kick can manage a very good strike and i will teach you one more thing kicking in the groins this is the difference than self-defense and the sport in the sport this is completely and totally forbidden to kick someone in the groins or to kick someone in the knee or to do things like this but let's say in the street in the self-defense situation this is a very good kick why doesn't matter the size if you can reach someone the fight is really over that's why i will try to do kick with the front yes again kick with the front boom kick with the front boom bravo kick with the front boom and now with the back bravo again boom and yes one more super and now you see she have kicks and doesn't matter where she strikes there is a situation there is a pain there is a holding the distance and then the very important keep the distance or just run let's do a little bit closer kick there was the longer distance and you see this is a little bit short kick or open or close this is the same a little bit this or this it's now this is the middle distance again let's do I'm going here, kick. I'm opening and kick. Or the other one, I'm closing and kick, or I'm opening and kick. This is the situation, let's say, you see, I'm here. And if I push her, you see, she has a chance to push or to kick, or yeah, again with the other one, or yeah, yeah go boom, yes, or in the back leg. With the front yes very good or here very good or even in the groins careful yeah kick bravo you see this is the middle distance kick and then the close distance we will do the knee let's do together you can touch your knee with one you see this is close close you see this is very good and now the other one Boom. Boom. And again, first one and two. And again, one and two. And again, one and two. And last one, one and two. You see, even you can train alone at home just to know what and how to use. Of course, if you have someone that can hold the pads, you see, she can use this and this again. Yes, even you can hold the pad to push it down. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, super. You see, now we have three different kicks from the three different distance. 
what we can do here if I'm close and I'm holding her she can kick and with the other one can kick again boom or if she pull my head she can kick or if she pull my chest she can kick in the chest or she can kick my in me in my front leg or in the groins even yeah here very good you see this is very useful and again just to remind you you need to have the balance not just falling and trying to kick have a balance feel the distance and then use what is the idea when i'm close and 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 i have a chance to kick with the front kick it's easy when i'm a little bit far for the front kick then i'm using the back kick super bravo first of all you can try to train these basic ideas and when you're good we will do now the next step now let's do a, some small combination kick and boom again one and two one and two again one and two or you can punch with a fist one punch one punch very good and let's do with the back kick one boom this is a little bit different boom boom again kick punch or kick with palm very good you can see now you have a combination or let's do with a knee knee and palm again knee and palm knee palm and with the back leg knee palm knee palm or knee fist boom very good super bravo and this is the idea how we can train alone what is the main ideas about the balance about the body about the distance and how to kick in the three different distances and how to punch or to make a palm strike with the three different distances. Now I will show you some basic ideas about self-defense. Like I told you, this is a, a very, very difficult field. We cannot cover it just by few minutes or by few explanations. First of all, you must be aware where are you going? Are you not alone? Or maybe is this a dark street? Don't cross it alone. Or is this is an unknown place and you're alone? Or be careful what happens around you. Let's say you're in the bar and you are drinking and somebody close to you can just put one pill that you don't see it, of course, on your drink and then you don't know where you are even and then you just happen something and that's why keep your drink always in your hands when you are in a place that there is more people and you don't know what will happen second of all keep the distance if somebody is going to you that's why show that you don't want and put your arms in the right position even you can use your voice it means that you can scream even why if you scream and say something loud let's say you can scream stop yes or just stop stop yes when you when you cry stop and everybody hear you of course they will try to help you but when somebody is close to you and when you're talking with you and blah blah maybe he's your friends and nobody will react and nobody is thinking even that there is a, some kind of problem that's why keep your mind and your eye open on a, some kind of problem situation don't put yourself in a problem situation and then to think and figure out how to go out don't just go in in the problem situations and now let's do some ideas if somebody is grabbing you your arms are up and you do something and he's just grabbing you yes push pull and go back hold me yeah you see i'm my arms are here she's pushing me down i'm pushing and going on the right distance don't wait somebody to pull you just in the way that he's touching just 
push his arm, go back again on the right distance. Let's do it. I'm doing, push, back. Again. Boom, push me with this, back. Again. Push, yeah, with the other one. Yeah, you see, you cannot react with this. <laughs> because most of the people try this. They try, <clears throat> but no, look, this is, this arm is already locked. I must have a key to unlock the situation. This is my other arm. I'm pushing or even I can strike or even I can strike and then I can have, I don't pull my arms. Why? Because it's already locked. Let's do it. I'm locking this arm, push and go back. And again, I'm locking your arm, push and go back. You see, this is uh, very, very important. Doesn't matter that you think that you have power or maybe you have idea to pull because look if she pulls me pull me and I will go to her and this is very very dangerous that's why push the other one let's do something if she's grabbed me here down you see I'm not pulling myself you see I'm taking one of the arm pulling this and then pushing again look I'm just taking the arm pushing. Let's do this slowly first. Take the arm, pull and then push. Again. Take the arm, push. Very good. And the last time you can do from the other side. Look, ho, grab here. Yes, push. Very good. The next idea is when she is like this, I'm holding her. You see? arms here hold me and I have two situations I cannot pull myself and I'm trying to do this no I'm using going down with the body and left and right look this is left my elbow is going up and pushing or the other side right my elbow is going up pushing look this push punch and this push and punch she can do now she's going here yes very good boom and go back very good again here push yes and one more time here very good push or punch and go back you see how to avoid situation like that now you see i'm going from long distance to the middle distance and then we'll go to the close distance now I'm going to the middle distance I am grabbing the here you see we start with the wrist now I am on the elbow again you see now she's much more closer to me and it's it's very very hard that's why you see I'm keeping here my leg what I'm doing I'm opening closing pushing down and then I go going back this is very easy why first of all she's pushing me forward and back I'm, I'm using left in down I'm using the three vectors what is this let's say we're living in a 3d world and the time is the fourth idea about the dimension let's say this is forward and back this is left and right this is up and down now you see forward and back is closed this vector is closed and most of the people are trying to go on this vector but this vector is already closed that's why look i'm using out in down up this is the open road again we are doing Wing Chun is a chinese martial art and is using a lot about the principles of the universe principles about the surrounding ideas and of course the five elements and one of the elements is the water we are water and like even the great bruce lee said be like water my friend what is the idea about to be like water the water if there is a way let's say this is a rock and it stops the water the water is just going around around finding where is the empty 
place. That's why we will do this. I'm grabbing her. Here is this road is closed. That's why she's going out in down and then she can attack again. I'm grabbing. She's going out in down and go. And last time, slowly I'm grabbing, opening, closing down and be careful because she is very dangerous anyway. And you see, now this is some idea about the middle distance. And let's say, and to think about the close distance. Let's say that you slept all this situation and suddenly somebody is close to you, grabbing you or trying to grab you here and to grab you here and you must react. Sometimes I'm asking the people what you did before this situation. And most of you, well, I don't know. Yeah, you, you just fell asleep. That's why be careful, be aware of the situation. But let's say I am just talking, I'm, you know, trying to be interesting, and then suddenly I'm trying to grab her. What to do? First of all, look, when she grabbed me and pull me, look, one of my arms is holding the grab because here, just for a few seconds, and, and I will go down because I don't have air. That's why I'm holding the grab. The free arm, you see, maybe I can pan, kick here, punch, or you see my arm is going behind, pushing or even grabbing the ear, grabbing the throat, pushing with the elbow, and you see, I'm trying to open. And of course, then I'm going back. Let's do it with you. You're here, and I'm doing this, you're holding, controlling my leg, push me, very good, again, I'm coming, yes, bravo, and this is the situation, and one more, last time, I'm grabbing here, yes, if it's not working, you can punch with here on the groins, you see, and then everything, it's possible on the situation. This is very, very important. And in the last situation, I want to show you if somebody is grabbing you on your hair. This is very, very common situation. The girls or somebody is grabbing you or pulling you around and you don't know what to do. And of course, from one side, it's very good to have a nice hair, but of course, somebody can use it against you. That's why what we are doing, if somebody grabs you here or here, your arms are taking the grip. You're going down, turning yourself, and you see now you can kick and of course then you can run. Let's do it again. Slowly, I'm grabbing, she's holding, going down, yes, very good, kicking me and then she's running super and of course at the last but not only the last situation because uh, sometimes the, the problems are starting there if somebody is put you on the ground and let's say you are down and somebody wants to come a little bit here yeah more yeah good and you see when you are down this is very important you see the, the, the legs are looks almost the same like up. You see this is covering here, arms are covering you and I cannot go in. You see, if I'm going, she is moving or she can change, you see, or change, or even here she can change, you see, she is turning herself just because she can control me. This is very important. I cannot pass through there. Don't give a chance to someone that pass this distance. Of course, you have, if you have a high heels, this is a very good strike. And then now she's covering here my leg inside. Yeah, from here inside. And you see, she can push again. One more. You see, she's covering. This is pushing. This is pulling. And of course, yes, you see, she's on a safe situation and of course how to go out 
she must do things. Stay there. Now, look, when she is like this, or here, first of all, I'm using one of my arms here for control. Here, you see, to kick, and I'm covering my face. I'm not like this always. Sometimes they can kick me. Here I have a control. Here I have a control. And what I'm doing? I'm going up. This leg is swing there. And then I am here. Try again. You see, she's done. Come a little bit here. One more. Yeah, very good. And you see, now she's pushing here. Yes, covering and going back. This is very important to go out of this situation. Very good. You see, we tried for uh, just, let's say, 45, 50 minutes to explain you some basic ideas about the martial arts, about the sport, about the self-defense. Then we talk about the distance, then we talk about the balance. Then we start thinking how we can kick with the front leg, with the back leg, then we can kick with the knee, then how to strike with palms or strike with fist. And then to start some combination, to find the distance, if somebody is going to you, you can kick, you can push if somebody is trying to grab you, you can use your body and of course you can use your reaction. We discuss a different situation and let's say in a different stages. And of course, the main idea what to do and how to do on the ground. Of course, this is a very, very short time to explain, but I hope so this, this is giving you a very good example just to know how to react. Try to train because in the, our modern society, the bad things are happen really very often and that's why we must be prepared. That's why sometimes she's going even for shooting, she's going some military education, she's doing kickboxing, even grappling, Wing Chun and of course fitness and the right way how to treat our body, what kind of food to eat and of course we, this is giving us a very good feeling this is give us in our, not working with our physical body, but this is giving us on our psychic and our emotion, very good feeling. And this is give us in our normal job, in our normal uh, way of life, the, ba the balance. And from there we have the strength, energy and power to do everything that we want in the way that we want. Thank you that you were so kind to see our presentation. Thank you that you helped me. And of course, if there is some question, you can ask us and we will be very, very happy to answer you. Okay. Thank you.